One other trick I'd like to show you is in regards to the contrast. So what you'll see is as we gamma down and gain up here, not only is the contrast increasing, but you can actually see that the saturation is kind of increasing. So you can see, wow, look, that's getting way more green, and wow, these are getting way more blue. And you may not want that. It's a real issue if you feel like you've sat in something into a plate, let's say this guy, and and you're like, wow, okay, now I need to add some contrast. So you maybe throw another grade in, um, adjust the gamma there, and wow, okay, look, now the colors are really popping um, that I've just matched. Well, what we can do is we can actually use a different color space in order to help us out with this. So let's put a color space node in. And we've got linear in, and we're going to then flick to HSV. And now your image goes in a sort of like crazy disco mode, uh, which might be a look. Who knows? Maybe the client loves that. Uh, but not for this image. Now <laughs> it's not going to really sit in. Um, so what is this? Well, this color space in the red channel is putting the hue. So if I hit R, this is the hue. So what color? Is, is each value. In the green, it's putting the saturation, so how colorful is each value, is each pixel. And in the blue, it's putting how bright is each value, so that's the value, and it's just how bright it is. Now, think about it, when it comes to contrast, we basically just want to adjust the brightness, like we want to adjust the contrast in the brightness, not the hue, like we don't want to exaggerate the contrast in the hue or saturation. So what we can do is once we're in this color space, we can select our grade node that's adjusting our contrast, turn off red and turn off green. And now we're just adjusting that brightness. And then we put another color space node in. In fact, actually we could just copy this one, paste it underneath and do swap in and out. And now if I grab another grade node to the side, just so we've got a bit of a comparison here, as you know what, I can literally just grab this. You should see that if I view this one, the image is getting a bit contrasty. Let's brighten up so it's a bit of a fair example. See, this is getting a bit contrasty, but it's also the values are getting more saturated. If I view this one, it's getting brighter, but my values aren't getting more saturated now. If I view the original to here, okay, that feels kind of pretty close. Yes, it's getting brighter and a bit more contrasty. If I view this one and view here, wow, okay, it's getting brighter and it's getting more saturated and it's getting more contrasty. Like. It, it just isn't right like and this is the problem you'll have you'll sometimes see people kind of doing this and then they'll throw like a saturation in to ease off um, of the of the saturation that that contrast is giving you um, but you don't need to do it all you're gonna do is flick to HSV contrast or gamma just the just the blue channel there and then flick back again and now you're in a really nice space where if you really want to go nuts with this now you can end up and it's fine like you're not gonna blow out the colors whereas if you were to do that here the minute you do this, you're gonna start really, as you can see, like the colors just go nuts on it. Um, so that is another little quick trick whenever you're doing color grading.